Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Ben Stiller. That was a clip from Severance. This is a fantastic show, super specific, super unique, and an idea that came to you years ago. Yeah, Dan Erickson, who created the show, wrote the script as a sample of about, we got it five years ago. And I read it and I thought it was amazing. And it took a few years to get it going, but um, we finally, we started to produce it uh, right before the pandemic, about six months before the pandemic. So then we were about to start shooting, then we had to shut down. So we've been on it for uh, like a couple, two and a half years. Every detail about it seems perfect from the set design. We've been talking about casting backstage. Mm -hmm. Opening credits are amazing. Yeah. Did you, when you first saw those, did you just think, oh my God? Yeah, you know, I, I saw this guy on Instagram called Extra Weg that, and it had this, he had this weird, animation of like babies coming out of a brain and like turning into jelly. And I thought, this is amazing. Um, and so I reached out to him and he hadn't done an opening credit sequence, but it felt like his vibe was right for the show. So he worked with us over the course of time and like, you know, we're getting to know the scripts and, and all that. So it was, it's been like a, a, a lot of time to, to sort of like mount it in the way that we wanted to do it. So, and it's been fun to have it come out because We've been in the bubble with it for so long yeah. and not knowing how people would react to it because it is kind of weird and specific. When you reached out to, what was his name? Well, he's called Extraweg. His name is Oliver Latta. He's in Berlin. Gotcha. How long did it take to convince him you were you? <laughs> like, I would just think a guy who like makes a an Instagram. Yeah. Sort of <laughs> Um, no, no, no. I, I mean, I, I set up a Zoom with him okay, so he great. could see okay, me. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> you can't just reach out and be like, hey, yeah. this is American director, Ben Stiller. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we were also, I, you know, Dan Amora, which was so fantastic. And I was watching this, and while I was watching it, I'm like, it's so cool that Ben did something completely different. But there is really, like, a prison element to both these shows. Yeah, Did yeah. you know that from the jump? No, I'm so dense, it took me about a year into <laughs> shooting. Because I thought, oh, this is really different than Dan Amora. We're doing this, like, sci-fi weird thing. And, you know, it's got a totally different feel. And then about a year into shooting, I'm walking around the hallways, and I'm saying, I feel like I'm in prison. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is just like that prison thing I did. <laughs> This is exactly the same. I haven't done anything different at all. <laughs> um, but it is, it is, you know, you realize that there's so many different human elements that are going on down there because they are down there. They're, they're not technically prisoners, but their life doesn't exist outside of there. Yeah. I mean, they've had their consciousness split. There's a chip inside their head. So they don't remember who they are when they go to work. They don't remember what happened when they leave work. So it's an interesting concept. It's a great concept. It's such a fun puzzle. And you guys put so much care into it, and I really enjoy watching a show like this. And I feel like, obviously, I'm not alone. Is it fun, having worked on something so long, to have people respond to it and all of a sudden be like, oh, we made a thing people love? Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, it's, it's a, such a nice feeling. But there's also, I've never really been a part of a show that has that sort of interest in it, where people are wondering what's gonna happen the next week, and, you know, kind of a Lost type. Of, I never watched Lost, really, so. Yeah. But I know, you know, I know what that kind of thing is. So it's been fun to see how people speculate and have these theories. But you know, also the reality is we finished it. It's done. So people, are like, I hope he doesn't. You know, I hope she's alive. I hope this doesn't turn out to be that they're real. And I'm like, it already happened. I don't. I, I really hope that you like it because there's nothing I can do about what's coming on next week. Right. It's not like SNL where it's like, yeah. I hope next week they do this. It's right. like, oh, it's exactly. too late, man. It's just, it's already baked in. Uh, and again, it must be so much fun to do a show that's a hit. We were talking backstage about a Ben Stiller show on yeah. Fox, which won an Emmy. Yes. And not a hit, though. Not a hit. <laughs> well, I think we can speak to it because it's so it funny. I went to see Billy Joel the other night, who was amazing. And before every song that we've all heard a million times, he would say, "This was not a hit. This was not a hit." <laughs> this was, because at the time they weren't. But yeah. Ben Solo Show was canceled after you know like twelve episodes. It won the Emmy after it was canceled. Yeah, right? we had been canceled for nine months. <laughs> I think that speaks to how a show endures, <laughs> that people got it so wrong. Yeah, no, that, I mean, yeah. we were all shocked and very happy, but it was- Did you never... walk up and go, wasn't a hit? Um, <laughs> I did something like that. I, I did some stupid young person speech. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. uh, I, for anybody who, if you finish Severance, I think that, go back and watch the Ben Stiller oh, show. Perfect, and yeah. uh, it'll be a very nice companion piece. Thanks, hey, man. thank you so much for being here. It's Great to see you, fun. man. Ben Stiller, a new episode of Severance is available this Friday on Apple TV Plus.